Hey everyone, this is Anthony with Press On Mobile Coffee, and today what I'm doing is installing a propane gas line on the coffee trailer because I bought a new espresso machine that runs on propane. Welcome back to our channel. In our last video, we were reviewing the two group Astoria espresso machine that we bought that we were going to use in here. Um, I even wired my trailer for 240 volts so I could use it, but I decided to sell that machine and scrap that idea and buy this Gracchino dual fuel espresso machine. The new propane espresso machine will actually allow me to be more mobile, though with a combination of propane and a battery pack system that I have with an inverter. Um, I could run my, my grinder, my fridge, all off of this inverter. But I'll show you guys that later once I get that all hooked up along with the espresso machine. So for starters, this is a uh, two tank propane regulator. This is an automatic one, which is kind of nice. So when one tank goes empty, it automatically switches over to the other tank. So you don't have to worry about running out of propane. This is my copper propane line. It's 3 8 inch outer diameter. So the propane copper tubing here will connect down here with the flare fitting on the regulator right here. And that of course connects to my propane, goes down underneath the trailer. This is kind of the standard they used to use was just a copper pipe on the outside of the trailer underneath, but things have changed and for safety, they have a coating on them pretty much now. But the ones that have come with a coating are really expensive. So I decided that I am going to make my own and I'm just fitting it inside this piece of three quarter inch PVC. If it's in there, nice, has a little bit of room. Um, so that's how I'm gonna mount this PVC underneath and the copper pipe goes right through the PVC pipe and it goes up underneath into my cabinet for my espresso machine. And since this is the dual fuel for Chino espresso machine, I have the option to do electric or propane. And that's what this other hose here is coming from underneath the machine is the propane line it comes right in here, connected to this knob here which is how do you uh, turn the fuel on or off. And that line is actually gonna go right through one of my holes here. It goes underneath the cabinet and we'll connect here to my propane line, which is mounted underneath the trailer. And that runs up to the tongue of the trailer. That's where I have my propane tanks mounted. So even though this machine is propane powered, it does require some electrical to run your button panel. Uh, which I'll be connected to a battery system and we'll go over that a little bit later. I mentioned to you that this is the dual fuel espresso machine. Up here we have the rocker switch. This is the switch from using propane or you can go full electric if you'd like. And the one unique thing about this machine is actually comes with an external pump. Normally this would be inside most espresso machines, but this one is not. Is that to make room for the boiler? It is. It has a pretty big boiler and it needs to make room for the propane components to actually warm the water. Here you have your water line. It says in right here. This is your inlet from either your water tank or your uh, main water supply. If you're connected to like a water spigot or whatnot. And here it says out. This one actually goes out to the espresso machine. On the left hand side of the Fracino espresso machine, this is your water connection. This is the one that actually connects to the out on the external water pump. We showed you the gas and water line connections. The next step is the electrical. This machine does not come with an electrical plug, so you're gonna need a 240 volt plug. Uh, the reason being is that the external water pump actually requires two hot legs of electricity to run properly. And in our next video, we'll show you how to connect this machine without a generator completely off grid, which is pretty awesome. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.